This is the Virgin River Gorge area um, in the northwestern corner of Arizona. Uh, I-15 kind of cuts through these rugged mountains here and the Virgin River slices a pretty impressive and narrow canyon on its way down to the Colorado River uh, down below. Um, we're going to walk up one of these washes here. I think this is called Cedar Pockets Wash and look at some of the rocks here. Uh, there's some slot canyons in this limestone. All this rock here was deposited in the uh, middle to late part of the Paleozoic period, maybe 350 or so million years ago. Um, you can see the landscape here is a little different than what we have in parts of uh, southern Utah. It's a little drier, kind of transitioning into the Mojave. There's a big barrel cactus there. Um, you can kind of see ahead what the gorge kind of looks like here. And again, the big, uh, the big modifier or landscape process here is flash floods. So uh, they get big thunderstorms here in parts of the summer. Those thunderstorms funnel all the water into these narrow canyons, stripping all the boulders and sediment, flushing those downstream, and with enough gradient and energy to cut these deep, narrow canyons like you see here. Limestone in many environments is actually um, somewhat soft because it's soluble, it can be dissolved out by, um, by grain. Um, but here in the desert, it actually forms big cliff faces. Uh, so the limestone here actually forms the bedrock for these narrow canyons to form in. Uh, for these little kind of like slot canyons here. This one's maybe not a true slot um, in the world of slot canyons, but it's still a nice little narrow section through uh, the limestone here. Uh, we just dropped in to a side drainage a little bit further upstream where there were some repels we had to make. Uh, and that was much more narrow than this one. This is a much bigger drainage. You can actually see uh, here where the rock at the bottom is kind of white because when they have flash floods through here that scours out the rock uh, keep, kind of keeping it fresh looking from the bottom and then you can kind of see it turns a little darker and more gray above that's probably above the high water line for many of the flash flooding events that come through here so flash flooding events probably happen uh, here annually maybe several a year um, and scour out enough of this lower section of rock to keep the rock kind of looking kind of white like that. So you can see some of the obstacles that form in the, the canyon, some of these big boulders that have actually, get up here, that have actually dropped down from the rim above, tumbling down. These are big chalk stones, can form big impediments in the wash where we can sometimes get uh, dry falls or pour overs. Um, or other obstacles to people trying to hike through them. In this section, it's just sort of a labyrinth of big, huge boulders to kind of work through and around and under. So, a uh, pretty impressive, cool little landscape here in one of these neat little drainages in the northwest corner of Arizona. Let me make this move here. Here we go. Ugh. And good. You can kind of see here actually the bedding. You can see the layering in the limestone here. So these are sedimentary rocks similar to the ones found in the Grand Canyon area. Uh, this would be similar to the Redwall limestone which forms a big cliff of limestone in the Grand Canyon. I haven't seen any in here but these rocks often have little marine invertebrate fossils in them as well. And if I probably stopped here and looked long enough, I'd see some. But you can see some of the nice layering here from the rocks being folded, probably during the uh, severe orogeny, which was a mountain building event during the Cretaceous period. And you can see some of the flash flood deposits on these little benches in here. So when the flash floods come down, the sediment slows down and actually deposits some of this gravel and sand here uh, on the bench of this kind of bend or a little turn in the canyon. So again, cool folded layers up above and a view to the rim 
Well, that's actually the Kaibab limestone. That's the same Permian age limestone that forms the very rim of the Grand Canyon. So that's the same exact unit that you would see standing on the rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now, but uh, hopefully this was a nice little taste of uh, slot canyons in limestone and an interesting little por portion of uh, northwestern Arizona called the Virgin River Gorge.